Well, actually, I'm the founding dean for the USF College of Pharmacy. Uh, in the very beginning, when we were putting everything together, I put together a very innovative program and really wanted to compete and see that dream become a reality. I love the opportunity that we have to uh, make people feel better. Uh, we're providing opportunity for brand new people. We're helping people we haven't even met yet. Uh, right now, there are people here in Tampa, could be Pensacola, might be Miami. It could be somewhere here in the country. And they're looking at USF as a possibility for a potential career. And we're helping future patients we haven't met yet. So everything we're putting together is about helping a, a, an entire group of people uh, realize and have a better quality of life. When I was younger, I, I knew I would be in the sciences. I really enjoyed the sciences very much. Uh, my dad and I would look at Star Trek on the weekends and, and I actually was probably um, believing that all that could really happen and, and I've kept on, on on that pathway and held on to that dream. If I were not a PharmD, I won't tell you exactly what I probably would be doing. I think some people would find that competitive, but more than likely I would probably try and become CEO of Apple. I would like to go out there and try and be creative and, and really try and improve things on a big scale that millions and millions of people can actually benefit from. I like the imagination and creativity, the pragmatism of, of what that company and other companies in technology represent. So probably I would head in that direction if I didn't do my first choice. We've actually had the opportunity to um, have that creativity, that imagination, that innovation uh, come to life. Uh, what was happening, a lot of our students were coming in and telling me that they weren't seeing the innovation out in the community that we had really talked about. And so I had an opportunity to bring that innovation here. And so I think it really is about embracing technology, embracing the future. The only thing guaranteed to change in life is the fact that things will change. And so we have to embrace it, move forward. But then we have to bring it into the curriculum. We have to bring it into a structure. And we can teach entire cohorts of people how to go out and implement that technology and implement that change. You do have to think differently. At the end of the day, when everything is all said and done, what we're trying to do, we're trying to help people. People wake up every day and, and they want solutions to their problems. Uh, they ask me all the time, when are they going to figure it out? And I think they is etched across my forehead. And so uh, you're right, we have to find a better way to improve people's lives, uh, to make them feel better about what they do, and then provide opportunity uh, for people to move into the future and have a career and opportunity to express their dreams. Where would you find Dean Sneed on the weekend? During football season, you're going to find me at a football game. If there's not a football game here in Tampa with our USF Bulls, um, you'll find me in front of a TV watching college football. Uh, on Sunday, you'll find me watching more football. I really love football. But outside of that, Tampa Bay offers everything, and it depends on what, our, what my family may want to be engaged in. Uh, you know, we can go to an event, we can go to a movie, art show, a museum, we can go to the beach. And I partake in all of it. There's not much here that we really don't do when I'm not being here at the college. Where is my favorite place in Tampa Bay? Um, probably my favorite place in Tampa Bay, quite honestly, uh, might be here at Raymond James Stadium on a Saturday afternoon watching the USF Bulls. I enjoy the crowd, I enjoy the audience, I enjoy watching you know, young people compete from both teams. I enjoy everything that goes on before and after the games, on the camaraderie. Uh, probably my favorite place to be in Tampa Bay. We do have a pet. We have a, we have, we have a pet Siamese fighting fish, a beta, and it's very colorful. Normally I keep one in my office, but I'm very, very particular. I've raised them my entire life, so um, I have to find the right one to bring here in the office. My favorite place to get on campus, I love eating at Top of the Palms. Um, the people are friendly, the great service, you have a great vision of the entire campus. Uh, on any given day, you might see President Genshaft in there, you might see other celebrities run, roaming around there. You get to see the entire community. Uh, students come in, uh, you can't beat it. And great food, by the way. I actually grew up in Orlando, Florida, born and raised. I am a native, native Floridian. Very proud of the state of Florida. I don't know if I have a favorite genre. I enjoy artists. I enjoy people who are great artists. So probably the genre, I really gravitate a lot towards jazz. Um, 
but my favorite artist of all time is Prince, believe it or not. Um, I'm talking all the way like 1979 Prince all the way to 2015 Prince. Uh, he's a great artist, and but I enjoy country. I enjoy R&B, I enjoy hip hop. I enjoy people that really want to put together, that, that give a thoughtful uh, you know, component to building music and then going out and entertaining uh, people like me. I have my own kind of combination of, of uh, CrossFit training I do. Um, I'm a former athlete. So, you know, I do get into weight training. Um, I get into core training. I don't like running long miles, but I run uh, my, my version of um, sprints to, to stay in shape. So I keep it, I keep it pretty, pretty, pretty real. My students want to come work out with me, and, and uh, there have been times that they've caught me, and we've, we've all put a workout in together. I don't ask anyone to do anything around me that I myself either am not willing to do or I am not doing. And that goes for our students, and it goes for our faculty, our staff. Uh, I try to remain as active and, and really kind of stay at the core of who I am as an individual. You know, I want people to know I was once you. I was once my student. Uh, you know, I'm not a really young guy, but I'm not a really old guy either. Um, I know a lot of the challenges that young people face. I know a lot of their dreams, their passions. And um, I think I want to remain very positive. Uh, I'm known for the positivity. There's no sense of negativity. And so if I can project that and help them uh, realize their dream, then it really uh, comes back to me uh, twofold in the way of that rewarding part of life. Graduation. My favorite USF tradition is graduation. Uh, it's the culmination of so much, but it's the beginning. And it's an opportunity for a family to really see where their hard-earned dollars and love has gone. And it's an opportunity for people to realize that they've accomplished something really big in life, and in many cases, uh, much, something much bigger than themselves. So uh, I love graduation. I haven't missed it in 16 years uh, on any academic level.